Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and wherever you are in the world. This is Jim Kilborn. And again, once again, I'm going to be playing Buddy Miguel. There are many different types of uh, missions on the, in the game. You have the base defense, construction, data elimination. Most of the, the most of the game, is, or the frontier mode, is basically beta elimination. Quick and simple. Be a base defense beta elimination or standard beta elimination, as you can see. Now, while the objective is pretty much the same, as you can see, defense and Nagata, we changed everything. Potentiality, closure, defeat, less, less than 100%. That's rare. I would say mostly due to the Chinese and uh, Japanese players. So shout out to them. You guys are awesome. Some American players would be nice. So you have the different fashions. The Miharika is, of course, Alternative 5. Imperial Army Command, you have two. One is the Patriots, one is the uh, Status Quo. This gets into the muzzle of uh, lore. If you watch the anime or you play, or you read the vid visual novel, I hope more you read the visual novel. The Patriots are the group who tried to get Japan going in the right direction, for lack of a better way of putting it. <clears throat> How they did it was, of course, the coup, but you know, they, they, for all their inability they still care about the com their country un forces that's outside of alternative four then the royal guard the people who protect Chogun. Uh, and of course base defense So these missions change daily. And after 10, you get a new uh, specialized mission. But like I said, very similar. I'm going to go with Suzumiya. Because I'm a huge fan of Yusumi's Valkyries. Oh, yes. As you can see, I got the Japan, the Empire of Japan, because it's all the same thing. Now, it may not seem like much, especially at the lower end, but once you start getting towards the higher end, you want to get all those setup effects, because they do stack well enough to help out a lot, especially at level 65. I'll post another video of uh, a different, uh, the Sharanui 1C, because that's one of my favorites.
and that will show you how But once again, it'll show you the difference between this uh, Gen 1 and the Gen 3, but it'll also show you, show you how quickly you can kill. And mind you, I mean, it's more min-maxing than anything, but still, those uh, little, tiny pieces, little tiny things help. I mean, you've got like three things that give you an extra 3% damage. You're talking about 9%. nine uh, Almost an extra 10%. Let's be real. That's, that brings things. So that brings the, uh, The fight over slightly, slightly faster. I wouldn't say ten percent faster, but you know, maybe five. Uh, the beta, of course, are no, most the beta's advantage is their numbers. I mean, they're limitless. You don't see that here. It would it would have been nice. Yeah, they would have shown it more. You know, you got a hundred. Uh, 100, 200 beta per per stage. Maybe give us say five hundred of the of the little guys. Those tanks. I don't know. I just just an improvement I could I I would consider. But then again, I mean they want to put it on multiple computers and uh the more the graphics card has to draw, the more resources it takes. I understand, but you know, just a thought. All right. Let's do another defensive and I got the More for drop settings. Oh, see, now we've got the eagle unlocked. Okay. Leave that to Gen 2. They'll start, they'll start getting faster. So, varies. it makes life a lot easier. I highly recommend, if you're interested in the lore, there's a book on Steam. Got a lot of good information. But nothing beats watching, the vi re reading the visual novel, I should say. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Jim Kilborn out. Oh, like, share, and subscribe if you can.